Hello and welcome back to a new vlog. I am in the city and I am up for an interesting day. Um, exciting I hope. But firstly I just, I went, well, this is the centre, shopping centre, but there was so much noise from the traffic here that I went up here. But I didn't know this is a church. That's very interesting. Well, a new build, modern church, per se. Right. Well, what an amazing start. What I was going to say is that I, wait, I really wanted to do a vlog in English and I hope that's fine with you. I have, and I hope you actually can hear me. Um, yeah, I really wanted to do a vlog in English because it's such a while since I've done it and you know, I know some French, but I'm by no means fluent. That also means um, that I can't always express myself as I do <laughs> in English. Oh my, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, look away if you don't like uh, insects. Uh, like, where? Ah, oh, yeah. That there, na na na. Any ways? I'm meeting them here, then we're going to the place. But first thing, I'm going to uh, go do some shopping. I have a top, a pajama top that I want to find, and I want to eat because I'm hungry. I don't know if you can even hear what I'm saying, and if you can't, I'm going to scrap this clip or subtitle it. Who knows? Anyways, I bought a, there was this, um, there was this pyjama set. I watched an, uh, a, a vlogger um, saying that that was what everyone got and I hadn't seen it. So I found it, liked it, bought it, uh, the pyjama, it's like a uh, short pyjama shorts and a little singlet and they had no tops left. So now I'm here and um, hope I think they have better um, selection. So yeah, firstly, I'm going to walk through this amazing park. And I'm actually wearing such an odd outfit today, I must say. I don't know if it's odd or if it's working. Um, first of all, socks in the shoes. What do we think about that? I don't know. And then I'm wearing kind of a suit but they're not they don't fit I've done that before but not with like such a white trousers so I don't know and then I have this I love this this pink jumper underneath so yeah the wind today is so it's the park so yeah city I'm home and I wanted to show you what I bought today, but where's my ring? Wait. I wash my hands I put it in my pocket there you go um I want to show you what I bought today which you've already seen but deeper <laughs> um and something that I got myself today um oh I should actually say that wait a minute right so if you have followed the vlog for a little while you know that I I uh, bought myself a sewing machine um, and I wanted to start sewing. I have some sewing videos on the channel if you're going to go and watch those. The sewing machine is an old sewing machine, 1938 with a hand crank, so it's mechanic, not electric. Um, but um, I, when I dove into sewing and understanding that a bit more, 
I also understood that fabric is in fabric and that this this jumper, knitted jumper I'm wearing, is made from petroleum. So oil. And that is a nightmare. So I'm trying to go more towards natural fibres. But sometimes things are difficult um, because, for example, socks are like those socks and and socks of that kind which are sold in the stores are oh, mostly around like 95% cotton and then 5% uh, anything else which is synthetics so you can't really get 100% um, unless you make them yourself and I read a bit online and presumably that's going to be like putting just cotton on your feet and it's not going to stay up because there's no stretch in them um yeah i'm going to try and figure that out so i did actually i told like i felt like myself like when i figured out that that is made of oil i and even these trousers um i felt a bit ill inside and i thought oh this isn't good and i don't want to wear oil on my skin and i have very sensitive skin and my i've been like my skin has been itching a bit and i'm like wonder why <laughs> well i have eczema as well so that's that but i mean it, it, this is not helping so i i wanted to try to just buy natural fibers because buying these kinds of fibers didn't really appeal but for socks that haven't really found um something to swap that out with so the socks i'm wearing are new ones which i bought because yeah we couldn't find anything else um i'll have to look about but look, look about look about 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 why do i say canadian look around to see what I find out with that. Right, um, I don't really want to buy things that are synthetics. So, I have looked all over to find just normal, pretty, summer wear fashion that I can buy in the store. And you might ask, you know, fast fashion, what's about that? Mm, it's not good. I would rather make them myself, but where I live, I can't find fabric in the sense that yes, I can get this shipped to me, because, but I'm a new sewer, so I don't really know. My like, cotton isn't cotton. If you, there's the tightness, how it's woven and stuff, like that. And sometimes it's very tight. And I think that means that it's very stiff, like a tablecloth. I'm not sure how this works, but it, cotton, based on how it's woven, it can be very stiff like a tablecloth or like this, which is um, bedding, which is, I could have made, I'm um, taking a bedding like this from and could make a dress and that'd be beautiful to wear. But if this is not cotton, but if it was like stiff like this, this wouldn't be as um, summery and flattering to wear. What I mean by that is that buying fabric online, if you're not used to the fabric or know what works, I think that's a bit difficult because I don't want to have 10 meters with fabric that I can't use for dresses if I wanted them for dresses. So the plan is in the summer I'm going to go to town, which is not, I often speak about town but <laughs> There's different towns, but not in town like this place, but town in like city um, where there are fabric shops. And I want to go in and have a look at them, have a feel, what's good, and right. Therefore, because I can't get the fabric, which I want, I have searched for shops that do 100% of anything. Not of anything, that's right. 100% of natural fibres. Or yeah or a blend of natural fibers which is 100 percent natural fibers yeah that's correct so 
I was looking for dresses and I found some 100% cotton a cotton dress and a skirt which is a long skirt normally I only find mini skirts and I'm not wearing that so yes and shout out to this store Lindex and there's also another store which my you know the dress that I always wear that is printed with flowers wait a sec this thing is also a hundred percent um cotton which is amazing because these are fast fashion places but they are now starting to change the prices are a bit higher but the quality is better i know they're still made in certain countries and certain conditions but it's better than polyester and everything. I mean, my goal in the future is to make my own clothes, right? But if that's not an option, this is an option. So, that long, long thing, what did we get? So, um, the purple dress I tried on earlier, I got. I also tried on some gym wear from H&M, which you can't really get elastic gym wear in without the synthetics and also they had seams in the front of a tights which isn't why do you do that so i was like no and the minute i had them on and i took them no way the minute i took them on i started itch I started to itch and i don't think that's good i mean you have an oil on your skin of course you're itching so i mean i know it's pretty like, but yes, essentially. Um, got the dress. This is the <laughs> best way to show it. Really liked it because I love a puff sleeve, you know, puff sleeve, a puff sleeve. And it also had like a bow hair. I need to, of course, iron this, but ugh, I thought it was very, very pretty. So, made in India. But it's fabric 100% cotton. So that is amazing, Lindex. Then the second thing I got was the skirt. The lady in the store was very kind and very, I mean, not like this, but when she put it in the bag before I started to put other things in it and travel on the bus, she wrapped them so neatly. You know, sometimes you when you go in a shop, when you get things, they, you're like, oh, you wanted this dress? Oh, there you go. And other times, it feels like you're in Gucci <laughs> because they're like, So she was wrapping these up pretty beautifully and like she cared about them like they were worth gold. So that was very beautiful because you're paying for something and you would love for them to also think that the products are good no matter what quality the product is because you're in the shop, right? I got this, oh it's supposed to have a bow here. But I got this, <clears throat> also 100% cotton, wrap skirt with ugh, details here. And what I love about this wrap shirt, it gives you a great shape and it's high waisted. And inside, so you have, in the front you have two kind of wraps because the first layer is like this. And then you have two buttons, which is perfect. Wait, it's not two button, two buttonholes, sorry. One button, two buttonholes, where you can choose the sizing. And it's actually like, even though it's open here, you wrap this over again and then um, do a bow. So that the skirt won't ever, if you sit down, it won't split open because some skirts um, that even shorten this do that. They only have 
like a wrap like that meaning that if you sit the skirt pieces goes like this and like shows your leg or could do that the only problem is it's only one layer in the back so it could be potentially a bit see-through um but that's not a problem for me um i can easily put on just a bit more of fabric cotton fabric and then we're good to go so i might do that in the future or you just have to not wear black knickers with i'm really happy about these but i do i do think like they want the skirt to be quite flowy and not too um heavy and with a double front it could be heavy but i don't know why they wouldn't just just in the hair do just line it a bit just do it double so that people don't didn't have to do that but the shape the darts here so that really makes like the dart is a dart is this line here wait yeah this line here where they essentially fold the fabric in sew it so that it makes takes in a bit of fabric making it shaping making it like sh make a beautiful shape and and like follow your shape for the for the person so instead of the front which is no darts and it's rectangular that was that yes and also from the shop you get a beautiful bag and this is i have an even hiking trouser which is essentially the impossible trouser the impossible trouser this is also this i mean this is quite an expensive well, what is expensive everything is relatively but more than that what is it like mm, a bit also not made in norway <laughs> nothing's made in norway with clothing nowadays except some shoes and some clothes but mostly no and all of these outdoorsy gears and they're made of not natural fibers you would want to wear wool or cotton which i know is an option and i if i get fabric and can work on that and trousers which i think trousers are a bit complicated but if i get skills on that skilled on that i will make want to make that in the future but for now this is the alternative but it's a kim kardashian kim kardashian sorry kim kardashian i meant kim possible kim possible trousers so yeah love them and i've never tried on these trousers before or any of these type of um fitted trousers but also not a tight this is amazing they have the size but they also know that a lot of women myself included i am quite like in size range i'm bigger here for this size i'm bigger here this is fit like perfect and then i'm smaller there in the waist so if they didn't have this i would it would be too big up here but perfect here so i love that they've done that because then you can just it's like also like elastic here you can also you can just tuck it in and if and then it fits perfect and this you could sit in this without feeling like it doesn't work and it has super impossible pockets and it was picking up for my phone so so happy about that um i think mum and i are going for a, um, a new walk on the mountain this time somewhere somewhere i'm so tired today <laughs> anywhere anywhere it's even worse anytime that's correct anytime soon so i will vlog that hopefully and i really want to well i i want to i'm going to wear the trousers so yeah love that love that yeah that was everything i had today i think um if you see this i hope you liked the vlog and um how are you guys please leave a comment below what's your summer plans um yeah i'd really like to know if you want to share them with me us 
the internet. Um, yeah, I hope you liked this vlog in English. I hope it's okay. I really wanted to, to do that, so. But I know it's different. I know it's not French, and I know if the French is what you do, this is something completely different. I understand. But yeah, if you liked it, you're probably watching at this point. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'll see you next week. I'm sorry this vlog is um, coming out a bit late, but here it is. Like late in late in the day for me, and then probably what time zone you're in or anything. It's, it's going to everything's going to change. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Goodbye.